Hello and welcome to my channel, Green Lion Goddess Tarot. We have the tower has come out. Boom. Okay, so this is the daily reading for the 10th of March. This is the tower, potentially a tower moment, uh, but it's some sort of release, revelation, a change that has been revealed to you, perhaps realizing what no longer serves you <laughs> in your life. Let's see what this tower energy is around at this moment in time. So let's see for the tower. Okay, what is coming through? What else? The magician. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's good. The magician, perhaps it's a, some sort of lightning bulb moment of like, bzz, now I'm kind of consciously aware of something now. I have to kind of work out how I'm going to deal with it. The three of pentacles, it may be to do with being, you know, coll a collaboration process, or working with other people and how productive that is, how productive that's being and how valued you're feeling within that process. The four of pentacles, okay, so... Yes, and the Eight of Cups, interesting, and we have the Lovers, okay. So it kind of, it's one of those days where it's like if there's somebody within the group that is annoying you, which can happen quite easily, it's probably like, what are you holding, why are you holding on to that? It's probably better to just detach and let go of it. It's your choice here with the Lovers card because, uh you can't, it's a bit of a pick your battles kind of energy that comes in with this. To be honest, we see the Eight of Cups. This is the, the character walking away and going, you know what? I'm just emotionally detaching. Um, that is not fulfilling for me and I don't want to hold on to it for whatever it is. So for some of you, this can be really brilliant, like some sort of brilliant download or brilliant idea that comes in and you go, now I know what to do. I've got the skills, the abilities, the resources, perhaps you've got savings or you want to bring in some savings, a good fi uh, foundation, uh, like financially or good foundation in terms of the resources that you have to put towards something and it's like, okay, that might mean that I can walk away from something else that's not fulfilling in my life. And it's, yeah, it is ultimately with the lover's card, it's a big choice. So, you know, it, it kind of, it can be, go both ways and it can be an ambitious energy when it look at it like that. It might be like quite inspired, like, uh, yes, so I there is a sense of I know my value and I know my worth and I know my skills and gifts and abilities and I'm going to make it work for you, me, work for me in a way that is uh, fulfilling, not the other way around. And I don't want to get caught up in, you know, this kind of energy that could feel like it's it's drama. So for those of you who are planning on making a big shift and change today could be the day that, uh, you know, this tower moment could just go, Zzz, and it's like, why am I holding on to this comfort zone? I really have to let go of that. So yeah, interesting. So ultimately it comes down to the choice and the big choices that you have at this moment in time, perhaps a big choice, or it could be a little choice that really depends on a significant choice that you will be making today. And it's about kind of, I guess, taking the high road, not the low road, if that makes any sense. It's like kind of going, you know, I'm not holding on to anything that is no longer serving me or not right for me anymore, whatever that is, whether it's a grudge, whether it's like a situation that's not fulfilling, it's just about taking that higher ground and going, you know what, if there's been a bit of drama around, I don't need to be connected to that. And it's, again, it's your choice. So I feel like uh, this tower energy Uranus is showing you kind of a different way, <laughs> a different path ahead uh, where you don't have to take on these other energies that just don't feel right for you. So that's the reading for the 10th of March. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.